Remainers might not get another referendum just yet, but a Brexit delay could soon be lighting up their lives because today the Prime Minister went to Parliament to perform one of her more impressive U-turns. In order to stop MPs grabbing control of the Brexit steering wheel, she offered them the chance to extend Article 50 and delay Brexit. The Government will, on the 14th of March, bring forward a motion on whether Parliament wants to seek a short, limited extension to Article 50. And if the House votes for an extension, seek to agree that extension approved by the House with the EU. The Prime Minister has become quite the expert at kicking the can down the road. But the problem is the road is running out. So, Theresa May has promised MPs another vote on her deal by the 12th of March. If it's approved, Brexit goes ahead her way. But if it's rejected, then the next day MPs will be able to vote on whether they want to go ahead with a no-deal Brexit at the end of March. If, as is likely, no deal is rejected, then on the 14th, MPs will vote on an extension to Article 50. If they've got that far, the government assumes they'll approve a request to delay Brexit until the end of June. It's a bit awkward when you've always said this. I'm clear that we will not extend Article 50 and that we will leave the EU on the 29th of March. On the 29th of March. On the 29th of March. 29th of March 2019. But 20 or more ministers led by Amber Rudd and David Gork had threatened to resign if there was no delay to Brexit. And the ministers who forced Mrs May into this U-turn are not letting up the pressure. One cabinet minister telling me today that she had prevented their resignations, but only for the moment. And staying for the moment, ministers say this should all focus the minds of Brexit supporters. Even they must realise that their nonsense no deal, with its damage to jobs and the economy, will be off the table. And therefore the best chance they're going to get, the nearest they're going to get to what they want, is the Prime Minister's deal. But guess what? Removing no deal and delaying Brexit is unpopular with Brexit supporters. You think that extending Article 50 would be a mistake? We do, uh, but we respect the will of the House of Commons, obviously. We believe that the best way to deal with these issues is to deal with it now, to get a deal that works for everybody. The government and parliament made it crystal clear that people were making the decision, and so it, I think it would ill behove parliament to pick a fight with the British people and use those votes to try and delay or disrupt Brexit. But unless Brexiters back the Prime Minister's deal, then the moment these protesters have been dreading may at least be put off until the summer. Carl Dinnan News at 10, Westminster.